Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we are going to see different body systems present in our body. In the previous video, we already seen levels of structural organizations. What are the different levels of structural organization? Chemical level, cellular level, tissue level, organ level, organ system level, then organism level. We already covered that session. Now, in this video, we are going to study different body systems present in our body. So, there are total 11 different body systems present in our body. 11 different systems are present in our body. These are muscular system, respiratory system, skeletal system, integumentary system, nervous system, cardiovascular system, lymphatic system and immunity, then urinary system, digestive system, endocrine system and reproductive system. These are the 11 different type of body systems present in our body. For remembering this thing, we have a short form that is Mrs. Ingluder. Mrs. Ingluder. Okay. M represents muscular, R represents respiratory, S represents skeletal system, I represents integumentary system, N represents nervous system, then C represents cardiovascular system, L represents lymphatic system, U represents urinary system, D represents digestive system, E represents endocrine system, and R represents reproductive system. These are the 11 different body systems present in our body. This is very important. So, if you got the questions for this one, you can remember all the system by using this code that is Mrs. Ingluder. Mrs. Ingluder. Total 11 different body system. For remembering this one, you can use Mrs. Ingluder. Okay. Now we will see each body system in detail. What are the functions of this body system and also what are the components in that body system. Okay. Now let's start with the each systems. The first one is muscular system. The M represents here muscular system. The first one muscular system. It includes mainly skeletal muscles. These are the muscle which is attached with the skeleton. So these are the skeletal muscles. What are the functions of this muscular system? It have different functions like it will part, it is participating in the body movement. It is participating in the body movement. Next one is it will maintain the posture. It will, it will help to maintain the posture of the body. So the main functions are it is participating in the body movement. Next one it will help to maintain the posture. Okay. So this is the muscular system. Next system we are dealing with is respiratory system. Respiratory system. It includes lungs and air passages. Lungs and air passages. What are the air passages? Air passages are the passages where this air is going and coming out. So the way air passages include nasal cavity or oral cavity and then uh, pharynx, then larynx, then trachea, then bronchus. That's the air passage. So what are the air passages? Nasal cavity, oral cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea and bronchus. And also respiratory system include lungs along with air passages. So what are the functions of respiratory system? We know that respiratory system will help to transfer oxygen from inhaled air to the blood. Okay. It will transfer oxygen from inhaled air to blood and also carbon dioxide from the blood to exhaled air. It will transfer carbon dioxide from blood to exhaled air. Okay. So the first main function is transfer of oxygen from inhaled air to blood and transfer of carbon dioxide from blood to exhaled air. This is the main function of respiratory system. One of other function is it will help to regulate the acid base balance of body fluids. It helps to maintain the acid base balance of body fluids. This is the respiratory system. Now we are dealing with this third one that is skeletal system. Now M represent muscular system, R represent respiratory system, S represent skeletal system. This is the third system we are going to deal. Skeletal system include 
bonds, joints and cartilages. Bonds, joints and cartilages. Skeletal muscle includes bonds, joints and cartilages. What are the functions of skeletal system? Skeletal system, it will support and protect the body. Skeletal system support the body and also it will protect the body. Next one is, it will provide surface for muscle attachment. It helps to, it will provide the surface for the muscle attachment. Here we studied skeletal muscles are the muscles which is attached to skeleton. So this skeletal system provide surface for muscle attachment. Next one, it helps in the body movement. It helps in the body movement as like muscular system. So what are the functions of skeletal system? Skeletal system helps to uh, helps in body movement then support and protect the body then provide surface for muscle attachment. These are the functions of skeletal system. Now next one we are going to deal is with the integumentary system. Now integumentary system. Integumentary system include skin, hair, nail, sweat glands, oil glands. Integumentary system include skin, hair, nail, sweat glands and oil glands. These are the different parts which is included in the integumentary system. Integumentary system is the largest organ system in our body. This is very important. The largest body system present in our body is integumentary system. So what are the parts of integumentary system? Integumentary system include skin, hair, nail, oil glands and sweat glands. These are the different parts. Now what are the functions of integumentary system? Integumentary system functions are it protects our body, it protects our body, that is one of the main function. Another one is it regulates body temperature. It regulates body temperature. Next one, it eliminates waste. It eliminates waste. Next one, it helps to make vitamin D. It helps to make vitamin D. That is skin, you know, skin will produce vitamin D in the presence of sunlight. So it helps to make vitamin D. Next one, it detects sensations like touch and pain etc. So it detects the sensation like touch, pain etc. Another function of integumentary system is it store fat and provide insulation. It store fat under the skin and it will provide insulation. Okay. So these are the different functions of integumentary system. We will see one more time. It protects our body, it regulates body temperature, it eliminates waste, it helps to produce vitamin D, it detects sensation like touch, pain, etc. It stores fat and provides insulation. These are the different functions of integumentary system. Next one, nervous system. One more time I am reminding you, the integumentary system is the largest body system in our body. Next one that is IV already covered that is integumentary system. Next one N. N represent nervous system. Nervous system. Nervous system include brain, spinal cord and all the nerves in our body. What are the parts? It's brain, spinal cord and all the nerves in our body. These are the nervous system. What are the functions of nervous system? Nervous system functions are it generate action potential. It generate action potential to regulate body activities. To regulate body activities. Okay. Next one, it detects changes in bodies external as well as internal environment. It detects the changes. Okay. First of all, it detects the changes in bodies internal and external environment. Then it interpret the changes and responds against it. It interpret the changes and responds. Okay. So these are the functions of nervous system. Brain, spinal cord and all the nerves are included in the nervous system. The functions are it generate action potential. It detect the changes. It interpret the changes. 
it uh, responds against the changes okay now we will see the c i n we already covered now the c that is cardiovascular system next one is cds that is cardiovascular system cardiovascular system cardiovascular system includes blood heart then all the blood vessels in our body cardiovascular system includes blood heart then all the blood vessels these are the cardiovascular system so we will see what are the functions of cardiovascular system main function heart pumps blood through the vessel heart pumps the blood into the total body parts heart will help to pump the blood okay next function is blood carries oxygen and nutrients this oxygen is from the inhaled air oxygen and nutrients to the cells and it also carries carbon dioxide and waste material away from the cells okay so the two different functions heart pumps blood through different blood vessels to the total our body then blood carries oxygen and nutrients to the cell and carbon dioxide waste away from the cell these are the main function of cardiovascular system okay some other functions are also there but as per we are discussing with the different body systems this two is enough okay next one is lymphatic system and immunity that is l a lymphatic system and immunity in lymphatic system what are the components lymphatic fluid lymphatic vessels spleen tonsils thymus lymph nodes lymphatic lymphatic fluid it include lymphatic system and it include lymphatic fluid lymphatic vessels spleen tonsils lymph nodes and thymus these are the different parts of lymphatic system now we will see different functions of lymphatic system we know that it returns lymphatic system returns the proteins and fluid to the blood it returns the protein and fluids to the blood then it carries lipids from gastrointestinal tract to the blood gat to the blood it carries lipids from gat to the blood and it defends the body against the pathogen it defends the body this lymphatic system and immunity helps to defends the body against the pathogen coming from outside and these are the three different function main functions one more time i will repeat returns more protein and fluids to the blood then carries lipids from git to the blood then defends the body against the pathogen these are the different functions of lymphatic system now we have covered mesis that is muscular system respiratory system then skeletal system then i that is integumentary system n nervous system c cardiovascular system l lymphatic system and immunity now remaining is ureter okay next one is urinary system in urinary system it include kidney ureter then urinary bladder then ureter these are the different parts of urinary system kidney ureter urinary bladder and ureter so next one we will see the functions of urinary system the functions are it produces stores and eliminates urine it produces the urine and also it store the urine and it also helps in elimination of the urine this is the one of the main function of urinary system the second function of urinary system is it regulates the volume and also the chemical composition of blood it regulate the volume as well as the chemical composition of blood so we will see next one that is digestive system now urinary system is over uh, we reached up to this one now next one is d that one is digestive system digestive system include mouth esophagus then stomach then small intestine then large intestine and anus then the different organs include liver gall bladder and pancreas these are the different parts of digestive system i will repeat one more time mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine anus 
then liver gall bladder and pancreas these are the different parts of digestive system now we will see the different functions of digestive system what are the functions of digestive system the first one and important one is helps in breakdown of food digestive system helps to break down of the food it helps in the break down of the food it break down is starting from mouth it start from mouth itself not only from the small intestine it start from the mouth itself the breakdown the next one is absorb nutrient it absorbs git that is digestive system absorbs nutrients next one it eliminate solid waste it eliminates solid waste of body so these are the different function these are the main functions of digestive system one is helps in the breakdown of the food next one absorbs nutrient and the last and third one is eliminate solid waste these are the different system of different functions of digestive system okay now remaining is reproductive system and endocrine system these two are remaining endocrine system endocrine system include all the hormone producing glands all the glands which produces hormones they are the endocrine systems endocrine system include examples are pituitary gland hypothalamus gland then thyroid gland then parathyroid gland thymus gland then pancreas adrenal gland then testis and ovary these are the different glands which produces hormones in our body next one is functions of endocrine system endocrine systems functions it regulates body activities by releasing hormone it regulates the body activities using hormones mm -hmm. so what are the endocrine system endocrine system examples in glands for uh, producing hormones examples are pituitary gland hypothalamus gland then uh, thyroid gland then parathyroid gland thymus gland then adrenal gland then pancreas then testis and ovary these are the different glands present in our body and the function is it regulates the body activities by the usage of hormones so next one is r that is the last body system that is the reproductive system now the last one that is reproductive system reproductive system is entirely different for the females as well as for the males first of all we will see the female in reproductive system then we will see male reproductive system what are the parts what are the organs included in the female reproductive system then what are the functions of a female reproductive system so first of all female reproductive system include ovary uterus uterine tube then vagina then mammary glands so these are the different parts of female reproductive system this is female reproductive system ovary uterus uterine tube vagina and mammary glands up to this these are the different parts of uh, female reproductive system now we will see what are the functions of female reproductive system it produces oocytes okay it produces oocytes then ovaries releases hormones like estrogen and progesterone okay ovaries releases hormones like estrogen and progesterone and the last one that is mammary glands related to mammary glands it produces mammary glands produces milk okay so these are the main function of female female reproductive system these are the main functions of female reproductive system now we are going to deal with this male reproductive system what are the different parts of male reproductive system testis epididymis vas deferens seminal vesicle prostate and penis these are the different parts of male reproductive system testis epididymis vas deferens seminal vesicle then prostate and test and penis these are the different parts of male reproductive system now we will see the function of male reproductive system we are dealing here is only main function that is testis produces 
sperm. Sperm is produced from the testes. This is the main function of male, rep re male reproductive system. There are different functions other than this one also, but we are not going to deal with this one. We will study these different functions in the chapter called reproductive system. Here we are being only testes produces sperm. Okay. These are the different body system in our body. We studied 11 different body system for remembering this 11 different body system. We know we have one code that is Mrs. Includer. Mrs. Includer. M represent muscular system. R represent respiratory system. S for skeletal system. I for integumentary system. N for nervous system. C for CVS that is cardiovascular system. L for lymphatic system and immunity. Then U for urinary system. Then D for digestive system. E for endocrine system. And the last one R for reproductive system. We right now we already covered all this system as an introduction. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe the channel and also make thumbs up. Thank you.